buddy. Hey. So how's that novel coming along? Ask me about something else, anything else, man. Okay. How uh, are your finances? <laughs> <laughs> You're such a dick. You know, um, Gunder Anderson, that author, you know, who just died? Yeah. Sure, you is that weird guy who wrote just one book. Uh, he kind of looked like the Unabomber. He lived in Pasadena, and his daughter, she's having this garage sale, and she's trying to get rid of all of his stuff. She might have, like, manuscripts for a new book, you know what I mean? Who writes one bestseller and just stops? That is crazy. I get it, though, man. I quit writing, too. If you hit the lottery, you don't keep buying tickets. Yeah, but wouldn't you want... You know, a career. No, once you write one amazing book, then you gotta write another, and another, and another. Success is like a big treadmill. I'd rather be happy and live in obscurity. No, I disagree. Mm-hmm. And look where that's got you. Excuse me, are, are you Gunder Anderson's daughter? Yes. Really? Um, do um, any of his writings happen to be available for sale? Like any notes on any novels or anything? I mean, I, I just love his writing. I'd love to get an insight, you know, into the process. Uh, no. He never even tried to write another one. You know why? I guess he just didn't have it in him. Excuse me. Uh, well, one last question. Um, if you don't mind, what, what, is, what is that? Some hideous piece of art that Gunder picked up in Greece years ago, before I was born even. He kept it in his bedroom for a while. I always hated that thing. What's it called? Gunder used to call it his muse. I call it ugly. Excuse me.
should have shown me your novel a long time ago. I had no idea. Yeah, I, I couldn't. I just started it on Sunday. You wrote 50 pages of this in three days? Yeah. Ever since the garage sale, man, I keep waking up in the middle of the night with all this creative energy and these ideas. Energy, huh? I mean, you don't look so hot. Yeah, I've had a rough couple of nights. I think I have sleep paralysis or something. That sounds scary as hell, man. You should see a doctor. I'll put that on my list right after get health insurance. <laughs> no, my cousin, she's a book agent. I can show her this if you like. Yeah, that would be amazing. Wait, why didn't you tell me about your cousin before? I was afraid you sucked. You're an asshole, but thank you. You're welcome. Hello? Andrew, Janice Stone, I'm Nick's cousin. Oh, um, hi, uh, uh, hey, Listen, hello. Listen, I'm, I'm running between meetings here, so I only have a minute, but I read what Nick sent me, and if the rest of the book is anything like this, I think we might have something special here. Tell me, have you finished the novel? Um, no, um, but I, I could. Perfect, send it over to me when you do. Here, uh, let me give you my email.
Oh, hey, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I'm the one who bought the, the sculpture, the, uh, you know, your father's muse. Yeah, I don't do returns. Take it to Goodwill or something. No, 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 I just have a question. Um, you said he kept it in his bedroom. Was it while he was writing all the ships at sea? Uh, yeah. After he was done writing the book, he packed the thing up and put it up in the attic. Never took it down again. Well, why, why didn't he get rid of the sculpture? Because it was his muse, and he always thought that he would write another book someday. You know, why are we talking about my dead father? This isn't fun for me. Okay, please, I'm sorry. While he was writing, did, did he seem sick? You know, like unhealthy or anything? Look, if that thing has lead or asbestos in it, that's on you, okay? Don't even try to sue me, all right? It's a garage sale. Caveat emptor. <clears throat> Hello? Andrew! Oh, love the new pages. Fantastic. Listen, I showed them to a friend at Random House, and she's interested. Very interested. Wow, that's that's incredible. No, the book is incredible. Everyone here at the office is obsessed. We're all dying to know how it ends. And uh, if it's anything like the rest of the book, honest to God, I think we have a bestseller. Wow, great. Exactly. But keep on it. Random House is putting together their fall slate, and in order to make that deadline, you gotta have it soon. Gotta get us a rough draft ASAP. So uh, I'll leave you to it. Good luck. ending, which I thought was pretty fucking dark, if I'm being honest, but if they're happy, I'm happy. I mean, a seven-figure advance. Seven. Do you know how often that happens to debut authors? Basically, debut authors, basically, never. I mean, really. I am so happy I have to buy my daughter. Not right now, Janine! I, I don't get ahead of myself, but I really think we're a lot of New York Times best seven. Sorry, I'm babbling here. There was something you wanted to discuss? Let's talk sequels. It was so hard to get her. She can never get away. Because I'm watching her all the night and all day. I've always had her picture. I had it in my mind, I always knew the kind I wanted.